Hello and welcome to Geekit Play Studio Tutorials. In this tutorials, we're going to look on PhotoKey 8 Pro. This is new additions to previous popular applications that allowed you to faster process green screen or blue screen extractions. So right here you can see we have an application and so when you start up, you'll have options by default home or edit. Home will give you with the latest news or your currently projects if you have created some. When you click on edit, this is will open your workspace where you can have a workflow on your left, properties on your right, and some access um, to functionality from the top. So we're going to overview the interface first so we feel familiar to some options and we'll start working with the project. The better understanding of some options, for example, like filters or effects or layers, all this is become much easier when we start working to the live project and you see how they will affect it. So don't worry if at the beginning you feel a little bit lost with maybe some properties. We'll cover them as we work on the project itself. So as I stated before, this is a Pro Key, um, a Pro versions. And when you start, you will have two options, Home and Edit. So we'll switch to the Edit and it will open us empty project. We always can go and save this project if we go to file and save. So in the same time you'll notice you have options in your file, create a brand new, open existing, save if it's already named it, save as, revert, export canvas, email or print, also options in exit. On the top where we access this is file menu and this is main file drop down it's little bit unique to photo key pro how they access but most functionality you can also access from these options also you notice on the left side we have it our workflow toolbar we just have a canvas import foreground and background image we'll look in a second key mask filters positioning layers and so on this is kind of if you open one image and you want process, this is almost in a way as your workflow going so from beginning to the end. And as you select the, the steps of workflow or a specific component, you'll notice on the toolbox on your left side, you will have the properties for this specific workflow. So for example, if we go to import, you'll notice toolbox is changed and we have it foreground and background selecting. So example, if we go to the mask, you'll notice our toolbox properties change. Now we can add, remove mask or create it new or select it. And so on for the filters and positioning. Okay, on the top where we access first file properties menu, we have options. We'll look on them in a specific tutorial so we can more adjust. Next, we have it also save, print, same things that we can access. We also have it other menu as export, email, FTP upload. We also have show or hide client. This is will enable if you have a second monitor and you want to display just a render image after it's done compositing and you don't want to show any of this work area for your client. And next we have it the render. So when you enable the second client uh, display, you can click on a button and it will render image and show them. This is very useful so they don't see time when you're kind of readjusting, repositioning, or maybe apply some filters. So it will just show those images that they want to see them. And next, we also have two tabs, Home and Edit. You'll notice uh, below, so let's go look on this area. I would say we have the workflow tabs. We have our main work area and a toolbox. Well, main work area, we have it also preview full color or alpha we have the sample and the sample work when you start images so it will faster pre-render when you adjust or moving around so you have a quarter and a half and next you also have a zooming this is important option so you can go zoom in and out you can use your scroll mouse if you have it you can go click plus and minus or just select it Many times I found scale defeat is much more useful if image get dragged away from the screen or something uh, to large or to small, you can always click scale to fit and it will placed on a middle of display. 
And on the bottom, we also have it options for the foreground background. If you want to make it unique, if you want to save it, or if you want to cycle through uploaded images. If this is a little bit too much information, one more, don't worry, as we start working, we're going in more in details. Right now, first overview, so you kind of start familiar when we start speaking about work area, or we start speaking about workflow, so you know, kind of area where it's located, so it's easy to find. So let's go ahead and next we'll look on some customizations for this application or what this can help us with.